And um, there's a good chance that many of us traveling for the holidays through some of the nation's busiest airports will have our faces scanned. That's because TSA is expanding its facial recognition pilot program. The goal is to match a passenger's face with the photo ID at security checkpoints. The program is still in the testing phase, but it's already getting a lot of pushback, pretty understandably. Be afraid, be very afraid, because Big Brother is watching. CNN's Pete Matuyan reports. It is the new technology facing travelers as they fly for the holidays. The Transportation Security Administration is now scanning your face at select airport checkpoints, all part of a growing test with passengers as the subjects. I think it's a great idea. I'm absolutely tech forward. We're already using it for our phones consistently. I mean, just about everybody's doing it. The TSA started this small pilot program at the peak of the pandemic, but now the agency's trial is expanding to more than a dozen different airports. The latest additions are among the nation's busiest, Denver, Las Vegas, Dallas-Fort Worth, and Atlanta. TSA Administrator David Bukowski says the goal is evaluating the efficiency of this technology before committing to a nationwide rollout. We're assessing how the technology works and we're assessing its accuracy, we're assessing its impact on passengers. Here's how this works. Walk up to the machine, put your ID in the reader, and that photo is matched with what the camera sees live. The response has been universally very positive. More effective, speedier, more convenient for passengers are the things that I hear. Quite frankly, it's not doing anything to help the public. The urgent need for greater transparency. Albert Fox Kahn of the nonprofit Security Technology Oversight Project says this could be the largest federal use of facial data ever. This technology is going to screw it up. And people are going to end up being detained by the TSA. They're going to be faced with even more uh, surveillance and more invasions of their privacy just because an algorithm gets it wrong. The algorithm actually is so far proven in our assessment to get it right more than the uh, human gets it right. The TSA insists it is committed to passenger privacy, immediately destroying most images and securing data from cyber attacks. Signs in security lines show you when you're about to be a part of this test. You can even opt out and have an agent confirm your ID manually. I prefer a person right now. <laughs> there has to be some kind of parameter in terms of privacy. I don't think TSA has made the case that this is the system that is the best use of resources to protect the American public. More than 20 state and local governments have implemented some sort of restriction on using facial recognition technology. The TSA says that will not impact its pilot program as it looks toward an in-your-face approach to safety. What I hope in the long run is that we're able to embed more and more advanced technology in our screening process. The TSA is also experimenting with taking this a step further, comparing the live image of you at a checkpoint with a photo of you already in a government database, like a passport photo or visa. That test is taking place right now, but only on a limited scale at the Detroit and Atlanta airports. The idea is never having to even show your ID at an airport. Critics point out the biometrics industry is part of a powerful multi-billion dollar tech lobby, and this technology is only now starting to take off. Pete Muntean, CNN, Washington.